you put a poker in the fire. The poker has iron or whatever's in there, steel, and there's electrons surrounding those atoms. The fire is heating up the metal and the electrons are jumping up into a higher energy state. When I say higher energy state, I literally mean that the electron jumps up into a higher orbit and it temporarily lives in this location. It absorbs energy from the fire and it goes up here. But you see, Electrons don't like to stay in the high energy states. They want to be as low as they can in a low energy state. So almost immediately this electron goes back down into this ground state right here. And during the process of falling in like this, it, and again, it's not falling in like a planet. That's a quantum thing we'll talk about in more detail later, but you can imagine it doing something like this. But when this process of going to a lower energy state happens, then what happens? A photon is released. Photon. And a photon is just a packet of light. And light is a packet of electromagnetic waves. Electro, because there's an electric field present in the photon, and magnetic, because there's a magnetic field present, traveling together, they're a packet of uh, electricity and magnetism we call an electromagnetic wave. And when I say a lower energy state, it's analogous to, on Earth, this pin is at a higher energy state and when I get closer to the Earth, it's in a lower energy state. Because if I drop it from here, you see, it can't really hit the ground very hard. So the energy, is not much energy there, so it's, it's not hitting very hard when it's converted to kinetic energy. But if I drop it from a larger height, it has more potential energy because when it hits the ground, it's going faster. So higher up, things are higher potential energy. That's what I mean when I say higher energy state like this. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.